Number 10. Jennifer Lopez and Chris Jude. They met while filming Jennifer's Love Don't Cost a Thing music video. The professional dancer and choreographer and Jenny from the block fell in love and got engaged only a few months after Jennifer ended her three-year relationship with Puff Daddy. One month later, they decided to get married, but Chris never expected what was going to happen. Soon after the wedding, Jude had to face the effects of being married with a worldwide celebrity. He declared that he didn't feel like a normal person anymore, that he had no privacy, and he described the relationship with Lopez as very, very tough. This seemed to be the reason behind their divorce, and the couple broke up after only 218 days of marriage. Number 9. Drew Barrymore and Tom Green Back in 2000, Drew and Tom were madly in love with each other and eagerly waiting to make the big step. They even got as close as saying yes on the Saturday Night Live TV show, teasing the audience and creating a significant amount of hype over this topic. Surprisingly, Drew's last-minute decision stopped the spontaneous event. The two finally got married in June 2001, but it seemed that the couple enjoyed the wedding idea more than the marriage itself. The next big event in their story was also the last one, with Tom Green signing the divorce papers 163 days later in December 2001. During their short marriage, the couple co-starred in two movies, Charlie's Angels and Freddy Got Fingered. Number 8. Pamela Anderson and Kid Rock Between crazy parties, drugs and alcohol, Pamela and Kid decided that their perfect relationship has to be made official. It happened on a yacht in Saint-Tropez back in 2006, with Pam wearing a hot white string bikini and Kid rocking a white t-shirt and a baseball cap. Unfortunately, like most rock star relationships, this one was not meant to last in time. In fact, it only took the couple 122 days until they literally engaged in a race to the court in order to sign their divorce papers. Kid Rock was a little bit faster, beating Pamela by less than an hour and winning the so-called split-up race. Number 7. Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphries there's one big truth about celebrity marriages. The flashier they are, the fastest they fall. In the case of NBA star Chris Humphries and the big booty Kim Kardashian, it was literally a matter of days. After all the hype they created with their luxury and classy wedding, the couple decided to break up after only 72 days of marriage. However, rumors and voices in the background truly believe that this short charade was only made to bring Kim and Chris in the spotlight again. And it definitely worked. The two days TV special Kim's fairytale wedding and eventually the unexpected divorce managed to get a huge media attention around this story. Taking advantage of the wedding hype, Kim even launched a special perfume for this event. The perfume was called Kim Kardashian Love and hopefully it smelled better than this marriage. Number 6. Pamela Anderson and Rick Solomon And yes, here we have another Pam wedding disaster. This one happened after the Kid Rock episode, but lasted even less than her first fail. At first sight, Pamela and Rick seemed to have a lot in common by the time they decided to get married. Especially a sex tape controversy. Pamela already had a leaked sex tape with her ex-husband, the Motley Crue founder, Tommy Lee. On the other side, Rick had his own reputation for the One Night in Paris sex tape that featured his ex-girlfriend Paris Hilton. Pam was one of the most wanted women in the world. Rick was a successful poker player who had the cash to afford Pam's plastic surgeries. But Rick's luck with the Baywatch babe wasn't as good as in poker, and as a result, Pam decided to break up with him after only 60 days of marriage. She invoked one interesting reason to justify her decision. Curiously, Pamela said that she and Rick are not sexually compatible and that she quickly got bored. On the other side, Rick accused Pam of ending a few pregnancies. They ended up in a huge scandal with Pamela claiming her share of Rick's huge winnings of the last year. 
surprisingly, Rick's poor sexual performances with the Baywatch beauty didn't stop Pam from announcing that she remarried Solomon. She made this announcement official in January 2014, only to get another divorce in February 2015. It seems that Pam has a serious problem finding the right guy for her. Number 5. Drew Barrymore, yes again, and Jeremy Thomas. After Pam, the next celebrity to double the list is none other than Drew Barrymore. Before marrying Tom Green in 2001, she faced another failed marriage back in 1994. Drew's first husband was Jeremy Thomas, a charming Los Angeles bar owner. They knew each other for no longer than six weeks before they decided to make the big step. That's how long it took Barrymore to say yes in 1994, only to change her mind and request a divorce after only 42 days of marriage. However, it seems that Drew only needed some time and experience, because now she is a happy wife for almost 5 years and a proud mother of two amazing kids. Number 4. Axel Rose and Erin Everly The Guns N' Roses frontman is known for his amazing love songs that melted the hearts of generations. On the other hand, Axel is also known as a trouble boy with a delinquent past and violent rage episode. Erin Everly, the daughter of Don Everly from the Everly Brothers, knows this side of Axel better than anyone else. Erin and Axel's four-year relationship was paved with screams and violent discord, but this wasn't enough to stop a wedding. Rumors say that Axel threatened to commit suicide if she doesn't marry him, and so the couple spontaneously married in Las Vegas back in 1990. However, 26 days later, Rose decided to end this marriage, and Everly managed to get a lucky escape from this love nightmare. Number 3. Mario Lopez and L.I. Landry The Saved by the Bell star and the young and beautiful model got married back in April 2004 with great wishes for the future. The couple had been in a relationship for not less than 6 years before deciding to say yes. Unfortunately, their marriage was not even close to this, ending up after only 18 days and being a front page topic due to the reasons behind the decision. While at his bachelor's party weekend in New Mexico, Mario was caught while cheating laundry with a beautiful young woman only a few days after the wedding. This was way too much for Ally, and the beautiful model decided to break up with Lopez. It took Mario 7 years to finally confess his infidelity to the white audience at the Howard Stern show. Later, he revealed that he never really loved the poor ally. However, he is now happily married to Courtney Matza, being the father of two amazing kids. Number 2. Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra the NBA champion and the glamorous Carmen Electra decided to make their love official back in 1998 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Dennis Bad Boy Rodman and the Baywatch actress decided to tie the knot in the little chapel of the flowers at 7 am in the morning. It proved to be a not so inspired decision as Rodman was deeply intoxicated at the moment. Not yet recovered from last night's party, the couple said I do only to break their tie 9 days later, when Rodman probably woke up from his hangover and filled the divorce papers. Electra described this episode as important as getting a cheeseburger at a fast food restaurant. Therefore, this wedding proved to be nothing but a silly mistake for both of them and it officially ended 6 months later when the divorce was finalized. And the prize for the shortest celebrity marriage goes to none other than Britney Spears and Jason Alexander. Oops, I did it again. Remember the pop princess of the 90s that we all used to love back in the day? Well, before the two years dramatic episode with Kevin Federline, Britney had a record-breaking short marriage with her childhood friend Jason Alexander. The story happened back in 2004 and the couple decided to make the step after a party in Vegas. They married in the little white wedding chapel and the couple had no fancy clothing or an overwhelming audience. 
In fact, both of them were dressed in jeans and t-shirts. Now, that's what you can call a spontaneous decision, right? However, Britney and Jason's marriage lasted no longer than 55 hours, and that's a record. Probably, the Sin City and a few extra ecstasy pills had something to do with this, don't you think? One way or another, this episode marked the rise of the new Britney, the rehab version that we all had to face during the last decade. If you like what you saw, hit that big red subscribe button and help us push more interesting stories to people like you. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time.